Hey everybody, Soda Hunter here. Today I have a Fentiman's Dandelion and Burdock. That's, um, interesting. The, uh, last Fentiman's I had was the, actually, uh, the Rose Lemonade. And it had a really unique flavor, really sour flavor, but it was still really good. And judging by the rest of the Fentiman's lineup, I don't know how you can go wrong with them. They, they're all really unique, uh, botanically brewed sodas. And they kind of like, uh, they kind of look and feel like an alcoholic drink. I mean, you see this, they kind of look and feel like an alcoholic beverage or a beer or something like that, but they're not. Um, they have lineups like, uh, Curious Cola and, uh, the Rose Lemonade. This one, Dandelion and Burdock. Oh, there's a Shandy they have that I'm not sure, I'm not sure exactly the name of it, but, um, they have a few of them. And... I'm going to read some of the, uh, first of all, here's the uh, etching on the bottle, botanically brewed. That's pretty cool. The labeling's completely screwed up. Look, completely crooked. Crooked. It's just crooked. I mean, I don't know if somebody's three-year-old did this or what, but it's it's all screwed up. There's the cap. It's got the dog logo on top of it. Uh, let me read you the uh, front of the bottle here. The, it says, Serve Chilled, Fenomens, Established 1905, Botanically Brewed, Traditional, Dandelion and Burdock. Fermented Botanical Dandelion and Burdock Drink with Ginger Extract. If I'm not saying Burdock wrong, I'm sorry. Um, up in before pouring, so I can do that. I don't see anything in there particularly. Actually, I do. Now that I see a uh, little bit, a little bit of sediment. It's not much. Not much. Let's uh, go through the ingredients here. Water, carbonated water, cane sugar, pear juice, concentrate, gluc glucose syrup, fermented ginger root extracts, ginger root, water, and yeast, dandelion infusion, water, dandelion root, and ethanol, uh, burdock infusion, water, burdock root, ethanol, and aniseed flavor. I have no clue. The only thing I recognize in here is ginger. So we're going to see what this is all about here. All right. Got a nice little carbonation to it. There's your cap. By the way, just a plain silver cap. Smells interesting. That smells really interesting. Wow, it's... Hmm. It's like a combination of some kind of fruit. Maybe a medicine. <laughs> I do get a little hint of uh, like a flower aroma. That actually burned my nostril. <laughs> I could just be the, the ginger or something like that bubbling up. That's interesting. It smells really sweet. I don't know what it in the world is going to taste like. So, uh, let's see. Well, that's different. Oh, the aftertaste is so weird. I don't even know how to describe that. It's really medicinal for one. It, it tastes like um, it tastes like a syrup, like some kind of cough syrup or something, or some kind of antibiotic or something like that. It tastes something weird. That is so strange, and I don't know if I like it. It's uh, it's sweet, but. At the same time, a little bitter. I taste no ginger whatsoever. It has ginger extracts and stuff like that in it. I taste no ginger. I believe I taste the dandelion, but I could be tasting burdock because I don't know what neither one of them tastes like. So. That's so weird. Wow, that's weird. I cannot begin to describe this. The aftertaste is really strange. The aftertaste is pure. Right now, I'm tasting pure bitter. The aftertaste of it, it's, it reminds me a lot of a uh, of an actual beer, as far as that goes. The aftertaste of the beer is a little bitter and stuff like that, and that's kind of what you get with this. It tastes nothing like a beer, but the aftertaste is similar to the effect you get when you drink a beer. It, uh, yeah, that's really hard to describe. The carbonation level is way up there, the acidity is way low, but <laughs> it's sweet and flowery and medicinal 
and not really refreshing. I would have figured that would be kind of cola-ish or maybe root beer-ish or a ginger beer-ish. It's nothing like anything I've ever tasted. That's so weird. It's really crisp. I don't know. The more I drink it, the more it's not quite as bad. But that initial shock, you have to get over it. <laughs> um, that's really strange. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to digest this one a little bit. It it gets better as you drink it, but the aftertaste is still there. That bitter aftertaste, the uh, flower sense you get when you drink it is still there. <clears throat> That's very weird. This is going to be probably an eighty or ninety percent of you out there that drink this is not going to like it, uh, especially if you get this thinking it's going to be kind of a soda. I got this at World Market. It's very common at World Market. You can get them just about everywhere at World Market. But if if I compare this to the rose lemonade, the rose lemonade is way up here. This one's way down here to me. Um, Eighty or ninety percent of the people that pick this up at World Market will probably not like it. Uh, will probably taste the initial the initial flavor of it and immediately pour it out or just give it to somebody else. I will continue to drink this because I'm curious to know if I will get used to this flavor. And if it will end up tasting pretty decent as I go along, it's already kind of tasting better, which is as common in some sodas. Some sodas, the initial taste of it is really bad, and it gets a little better as you go. Some of it's really good, and it gets a little worse as you go. I've had a few of those on here, uh, some of my past videos, but I, I'm gonna go by the initial taste of this, and whether or not you're gonna like it when you pick it up. I'm gonna say buyer beware. This is. It's it's interesting enough to try. I'm glad I picked it up and I'm glad I tried it. I'm going to finish it because it's made with really good stuff. It's creative. It's unusual. It's different. And I'm going to give anything like that a chance. But I also know my reaction to the first initial taste I had of this. And because of that, I'm going to say buyer beware. But that's more of a warning that you're not gonna like it initially but you should you should try it yourself honestly it's so different than anything else you've had I, I recommend you go out and pick one up but when you do buyer beware <laughs> um, I mean there's a couple of dollars uh, it's it's worth trying to new things like that uh, if you like this video follow me on Twitter at soda underscore hunter facebook.com so soda hunter Kevin subscribe to the channel like the video and comment down below have you had that and what other fenomens have you had let me know in the comments and uh, be sure to check out the comments also and the uh, description of this video there's a link to a brand new soda hunter t-shirt it's inspired by the uh, retro uh, video game duck hunt and uh, I like it. I like the colors of it and everything. It's a black and blue t-shirt. If you look on my uh, Twitter page, my avatar, my little Funko Pop avatar, is actually wearing the Soda Hunter t-shirt. And uh, if you like that, check it out. Uh, the link is to the uh, link to the t-shirt is in the description and the comments down below. If you like the channel, if you support it, if you like the t-shirt, pick one up. Yeah. Um, I got one coming. It's uh, really really cool looking little design I think and uh, also check out uh, the Soda Jerks on Twitter at the Soda Jerks and their website is the SodaJerks.net there's hundreds more reviews on there just like this one and until next time happy hunting